in this module we will look at how in and out of focus look like when using a 1.5 and a 2.5 inch lens and compare the outcome. For this test we are using anodized aluminium. Before proceeding it's important to note that engraving a quality piece is somewhat subjective. This means that being perfectly in focus doesn't necessarily mean that it's showing the best results. Some people might prefer a smoother engraving, while others might prefer a crispier engraving. And this very much depends on the material and how it is reacting, the parameters in job control, the expected outcome we might have, and perhaps the most important aspect of all, our subjective view. I might personally like something, but a colleague might not, or vice versa. However, in this module we are going to demonstrate what happens and what to expect when engraving in and out of focus. We engraved 11 pieces using the same graphic. The first pieces were engraved with both lenses in focus, which are these two pieces here. For the 1.5 inch lens we alter the z-axis position in steps of 0.5 mm so a total of 2.5 mm out of focus in both directions. For the 2.5 inch lens we alter the z-axis position in steps of 1 mm, so a total of 5 mm out of focus in both directions. The minus side, which you can see here, is closer to the lens and the plus side is further away from the lens. So if we compare the two pieces that are in focus we have these results. We can see a clear indication that the 1.5 inch lens is producing a clear and defined engraving. And this is particularly visible in the area here where we have the smaller details. The overall engraving of the 2.5 inch lens looks also very good, but it's slightly bolder, but this is what you can expect since the 2.5 inch lens has a 70% larger spot size than the 1.5 inch lens. So let's do an in-depth comparison with both lenses. Here we can see the results using the 1.5 inch lens. The picture on the left hand side shows in focus and the right side 1.5 mm out of focus. And this is the maximum distance away from the focus point but still within the depth of focus. With a larger text here there is not really much of a difference. If we look at the 8 here, we can of course see that there is a slight difference, but not much. However, if we move down to the smaller text, let's take the number 4 here, we can see that we have lost a bit of details. Here at the bottom, for example, and here. And this is quite good, bearing in mind that the dimension of the number here is 0.48mm by 0.63mm. If we bring up the sample that is 2.5 mm out of focus, meaning we are now outside the depth of focus, there is a clear distinction between the two. We can see that we have lost a lot of details coming this far out of focus. Even if we move up to the number 8 here, we can see that details are vague when we are engraving outside the depth of focus. So the conclusion for the 1.5 inch lens is that you should be able to engrave a good quality 4 point text on anodized aluminium using the standard settings. However this is with the assumption that optics and mechanics are all good and that the machine is properly calibrated. If the material is outside the depth of focus we can see a clear quality reduction with the loss of power or intensity and details. Let's move on to the 2.5 inch lens. The picture on the left hand side is in focus and the one on the right hand side is 2 mm out of focus. And this is nearly the maximum distance away from the focus point but we are still within the depth of focus. With the larger text there is not much of a difference. If we look at the 8 we can see that there is a slight difference but not much. Now if we move down to the smaller text, let's take the same number 4 here, 
we can see that we have lost a bit of details, here at the bottom for example, or here. Now if we bring up the sample that is 5mm out of focus, meaning we are now outside the depth of focus, there is a clear distinction between the two. We can see that we have lost a lot of the details now. Even if we move up to the 8 point, we can see that the details are very vague when we come outside the depth of focus, which is now nearly 3 millimeters. So the conclusion for the 2.5 inch lens is that you should be able to engrave a good quality 6 or even 5 point text with a 2.5 inch lens on anodized aluminium and using the standard settings. This is of course with the assumption that optics and mechanics are all ok and that the machine is properly calibrated. If the material is outside the depth of focus we can see a clear quality reduction with the loss of power or intensity and details. Sometimes it's difficult to see if what you're engraving is truly out of focus. It could be the case that you don't have enough power. But please be aware though that materials are reacting very differently. On anodized aluminium you are vaporizing the anodization on the material. In contrast to for example with plastics, you have a melting process occurring as well. Which means that if you use too much power, the engraving may blur things out. Or if you don't use enough power, it may not penetrate the surface properly and it may look like you are out of focus. So understanding the parameters in job control, experience with different materials and the use of the different lenses are rather important to be able to quickly determine whether you are in or out of focus. So that was hopefully helpful in some ways or at least it gave you an idea how out of focus may look like. If you should have any questions regarding this module, please don't hesitate to contact us.